Don't go anywhere. NIU2U starts now. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Fred Hammond. Hi, I'm B Flat, aka Baby Hair Super Fresh. This Big Sean, good music. What's going on? This is Drizzy Drake, and you are now tuned in to NIU. 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 NIU to you. And I love you forever. Believe that, boy. Hello there and welcome to the only show on NIU's campus you should care about. Coming to you live from Barcima Hall, I'm Torian Small. And I'm Kiara Herring and we are so glad to be back and bringing NIU to you for our third season premiere. On the show today, Homecoming King and Queen Steve and Lizzie G were crowned during the Homecoming game. NABJ reporter Alexis Sherrard heads out to the Convocation Center Career Fair. We introduce NIU to you's newest segment, That's What's Up, hosted by our own Joshua Singleton. Later, we sent NABJ reporter Xavier out to meet the Greeks. NABJ reporter Sheila Tawia voices your concerns to the NAU Department of Campus Safety. And in overtime, the Huskies take home a victory in this homecoming game. But first, a lot of people were upset about homecoming lines. Yeah, I heard people were standing out in the cold, getting pushed and shoved. Where was the crop control? Yeah, let's take that in today's campus buzz. Unlike past years, MPHC opted to sell tickets out of the field house instead of Black Hawk. There was an increase in police presence on campus, making students feel a little more than uncomfortable. Yeah, but where were the police when one student fainted from exhaustion? I mean, realistically, having state troopers on campus during homecoming isn't necessary. They treat these students like animals. Hopefully we can improve that by the next Campus Buzz, but for everything you've seen on today's Campus Buzz, make sure you log on to NIUTU.org. Don't go anywhere. More NIUTU after the break. As a child, Joe Peterson used to imagine what dinosaurs were like. Today, thanks to my NIU degree, I show them in a new way. Kristen Brown's passion for sports brought her to NIU. Thanks to my degree at NIU, today I helped lead the Big East Conference. Matt Kroll's love of building things led him to engineering. Today, with my NIU degree, I'm building better products and creating happier customers. The power of education, the power of NIU. Welcome back. Before all the nonsense with the line happened over the weekend, Sheila Talia sat down with the police department to see what exactly were their plans for homecoming weekend. Thanks, you guys. As you know, last weekend was homecoming, and NIU turned into the party capital for the cow, with an increase of people also meant an increase in security measures. This past weekend, we talked to NIU police to find out what they had in store for Kansas safety. Well, anytime you put a lot of people in a small environment, you have a potential for things to go on. With homecoming, we have friends, family members, alums coming up, so you increase the amount of traffic in the, to the cow. With that being said, we may see more DUIs. We definitely see more call for service because we have more people need more assistance with things. But as far as the behavior, people pretty much behave during these events. I will tell you that we have an IUP on campus. But as far as patrolling the area, you may see the Cal Police Department, Sycamore, County Police, State Police. So we have a lot of people that come up specifically for homecoming to patrol the area, not necessarily on campus. We continue to patrol our areas so we can provide the excellent service to our community. At the University Police and Public Safety Building, I'm Sheila Tellia. Thanks, Sheila. As NIU students, we're always looking for new job opportunities. So we sent NABJ reporter Alexis Sherrard over to the NIU Convocation Center to get an inside look at the career fair. NIU's Convocation Center hosted this year's job fair. Employers were eager to interview students because NIU yielded an impressive reputation. Uh, it was a good outcome. Um, I saw a lot of it. A lot of candidates ready to graduate this uh, semester, which is good to see. There's a lot of anticipated people ready to work. So. But don't worry, what you may be lacking in work experience could be made up in campus involved. You could be not have a lot of work experience necessarily, but if you're involved in a lot of clubs on campus or something like that, you're still going to have a great shot at getting an interview. So what did students get out of this? 
they're, they're looking for people, you just have to talk and talk it out like what you have to offer and um, I mean, I, I like it. Although today was a career fair, some students felt that not many careers were represented. It seems that these types of career fairs focus mostly on um, office-oriented jobs and uh, the one thing that they need to realize for these career fairs is that not everyone that goes here are shooting to be in an office after they graduate. At the Convocation Center, I am Alexis Sherrard. Thanks, Alexis. I'm so proud to introduce NIUTU's newest segment, That's What's Up. Host Joshua Singleton shouts out the black male organizations on campus. Hey, NIU, this is Joshua Singleton with a new segment of NIU to You called That's What's Up. On this show, we will highlight several students and student organizations that are making a positive influence on the campus and the community around us. This week, we want to give a shout out to two black male organizations that has a tremendous influence on this campus. Brothers, which stands for Brothers Reaching Out to Help Enlighten and Rejuvenate Subconscious, was founded in 1982. Vance Amos, who has been the Brothers faculty advisor for 28 years, is working closely with Brothers President Darius Warner to maintain the organization's success through support on campus. Well, Brothers is a, uh, is a organization of like-minded men designed to help black men graduate. We try to strengthen and build our young black men and build the campus as a whole by um, programs, um, strengthening our young black women on campus. We definitely like to reach out to the community, handing out clothes, toys during those holiday seasons. But if you don't have this sheet right here... If you would like to learn more about the Brothers organization, talk to one of their representatives on campus for more information. Next, we have BMI. Black Male Initiative is an organization founded by the faculty advisor, Don Bramlett, back in 2001. The primary goal of the organization is to make sure that young black male students graduate while maintaining a respectable image on campus. Thaddeus Carr, the president of BMI, collaborates with Don Bramlett to strengthen the perception of black males and to encourage them to strive for success. Uh, trying to um, bust the images of what most, most people see on campus as a young black male. If you would like to take a closer look at BMI, meetings are held every Monday at 5 p.m. in the multi-purpose room in Stevenson. Two thumbs up to Brothers and BMI. Next we will highlight the female organizations on campus. This is Joshua Singleton and that's what's up. That's what's up. We gotta take a quick break. Gotta go pay some bills, we'll be right back. We are hungry. We are determined. We are strong. We are passionate. We are red and black. We are one. We are driven. We are family. We are huskies. We are huskies. We are huskies. Welcome back. We sent NABJ reporter Xavier out to cover the MCG's Meet the Greek event. The Multicultural Fraternity Council hosted their first annual Meet the Greek showcase in the Carl Sandburgs Auditorium. This event served as a start to NIU's homecoming festivities. While the turnout wasn't too impressive, each Greek organization expressed an enthusiasm when promoting their fraternities. And that's to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, just to like bring all the like different Latino and Hispanic groups together and just celebrate it, celebrate each other's diverse and different cultures. Reviewing all the participants today in the event, the Greek life is more diverse than what most students may think. We look at that separation and uh, we don't look at what brings us together, which act is actually an education aspect. We all emphasize the scholarship. We all want our people to graduate. Um, and we always want to bring out the best in ourselves and the other people and minorities on campus. For NIU to you, I'm Xavier Brown. This year's homecoming court competition was fierce. The 
campus was filled with flyers from both parties. Saturday, during halftime, Steve Williams, representing BMI and Kappa Alpha Psi, and Lizzie G, representing Delta Sigma Theta, were crowned the 2011 Homecoming King and Queen. When asked how they felt, they expressed extreme gratitude. Man, it's an honor, man. I don't get to be the face of NIU like I wanted to. I, my slogan was triumph over adversity, so I'm doing this for everybody that was ever told that they couldn't do anything, man. So it's really an honor. I'm ready to thank all my Huskies for supporting me and voting for me, and it's just really an honor right now. It was an honor to be on court, but to be winning right now and to be the face of NIU, it's, it's really amazing. Congratulations to you both. Back to you, Dorian. Thanks, Kiara. Here's overtime. The beginning half of the game showed much promise, with the Husky offense setting the tone. NIU students, alumni, family, and friends came from all over to support the Huskies in this year's homecoming game. Two uh, big mistakes during the first half, and, and really Western Michigan capitalized on all of them. But I think NIU has really been dominating the game, and I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna win the game. Now I have some rather sad news to share with you, NIU. I will no longer be the overtime host, but there will be a new overtime host and co-host, both making their premiere next week. Everything you see on today's show and more, make sure you find us on Facebook at NABJNIU or follow us on Twitter at NABJNIU. Or head over to the new site at NIUCU.org. I'm your host, Kiara Harry. And I'm Torian Small. Thanks for watching.